Okay, Paul, this is your baby. My baby. It's all yours, man. You came up with this thing. Yeah. So we're introducing the, uh, what, are, what are you calling this? Thing? Zwiss cage. The Zwiss cage. This is something that uh, I thought, you know, I could really use. Well, you're the designer of it, man. What we did is we made a couple changes from before. We've widened it a little bit and we created this plate that you liked, which has all these different holes. You got quarter 20 holes, you got three eighths inch holes. You, you got enough, I mean, come on. You have enough variation for any <laughs> any possibility that anyone wants to do. I exactly. mean, the, the genesis of this was simply the fact that, you know, we all use these, you, a lot of your traditional mounts, your shoulder mounted things. And I've always had a need for something that's a little bit more flexible. But the fact of the matter is, as you know, in terms of getting some more dynamic shots, mm -hmm. you know, you're not always walking around with the camera at eye level. Yeah. You know, this thing can go, I can follow shots, I can go kind of low mode, like skateboard style, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes this can be, you know, low mode this way. With now a, that with I get. When I, when I use this thing and I get my eye in the hole here, now I've got a very stable, real stable it's rig. A really and you can add a gun stock to make it even more stable. A three points of contact, I think, is your big thing. It always is. Uh, I invented that. It's a great. It's a great <laughs> Everybody's thing. Everybody's ripped me on that. But this is solid. You know, I can go off and shoot all kinds of short, sweet little yep. little moments, and to actually get a lot of um, dynamic positioning, being able to put the camera in places very quickly that you wouldn't normally be able to with a, with a typical shoulder. Well, rock. it works for you. I've seen your stuff and it's awesome. So now let's show people all the crazy things you can do with this. So first off, let's find things you can stick on there. Like, you know, you could stick this OB light on here. Yeah, I mean, you really have kind of outdone yourself with this, uh, this uh, plate. You, you, have, you have a huge plate with, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how many holes you have on there, but there's well, a lot of holes. Then, but then and, you have these Z-locks, which are nice. Yeah. So we have two of these. So like now, uh, you can actually insert anything into a Z-lock there and lock it in, which is like what I like because it's unturnable at that point. Um, now, also on the top or on the bottom of this plate, and I know I, you may not need to do this, but the features are there. You can mount a Keypro Mini uh, and or an Anton Bauer or a Sony V-lock battery plate so that you can have system power and a very versatile handle here. Um, I know that we noodled around a lot with the idea of having this rod out the front and the back. Now, this handle is so versatile that here's another part that I don't even think you realize that you can screw rods into yeah, this well, and extend it. them out further and back. Yeah, I mean, the handle is Here, incredibly versatile. It's incredibly For low solid. Mode. It's locked. It's literally, it screws onto the plate. And it can be it's, moved anywhere on the plate. It's completely solid. It can be Forward, moved anywhere Forward, back, else. so you can balance. And it can be flipped around the other way. Absolutely. And it works on a red, an FS100. There's a track in here so that we've compensated for all these different screw hole formats. Yeah, and having the little extra bit of rod, both as a screw and as something that you can that you can Absolutely. attach to is really... For instance, and so some, quickly be able to get rid of stuff. Really I haven't seen it in any other hand. I mean, that in itself is a cage. That yeah. literally is a cage. I mean, because you could put so much stuff, and it's balanced in the center, which I like, too. And look how fast you this can, is here. I can plunk this on here. I can remove this here. I can put a light on it here, since everything is quick-released. And I can readjust the arm like this. And that could be something that you actually need if you just want to punch just a little bit of light in when you're doing or your... Or just if you wanted to punch something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some other stuff that you can do with this here. So I'm going to take that off. Uh, wireless plates. This was kind of a neat little idea that Jens had. On the back, you can screw it right on here, and you can put anything on here. I mean, the fact of the matter is you have the ability with these mounts mm -hmm. and all these holes, you could rig this out to really catastrophically hilarious <laughs> proportions. When you're on set and when you're just kind of running run and gunning, you want yeah. to be able to just quickly get things on and off and then have something that's that's got some 
right. some uh, stability to it. Now, here's another thing that we should talk about is that we sort of offset the hand grips. It kind of felt better. We were noodling around with it different ways of doing that better. when they're offset. You can change the offset. You can have this one be forward and that one be back. Yeah, having the staggered handles really makes a difference in terms of stability. Here's another feature. Since it uses the DSLR base plate, you can just basically pop, let's say you you want to shoot some stuff with one camera, and then you want to quickly go to another. Just pops right in there. I mean, that's pretty fast switching cameras. Okay. Uh, it's pretty light. Yeah. No, it is nice. I, I got to admit, it. I wasn't into the cage thing at first, but I'm a little more sold now. It's, this this isn't something you pick up and just go crazy. It's like any piece of no, equipment. You got to it, learn it's, it. It's kind of made for. It's made for the running gun. Right. Yeah. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> See ya.